The problem is all inside your head, he said to me. The answer is easy if you take it logically. <laughs> now let me help you in your struggle to be free. There must be 50 ways to leave your lover. I don't know why that popped into my head, but I'm sitting here on the couch with my dog beside me. And I'm snoozing while listening to Lyndon Malta Howe video. And my angels are like sending me these little snippets of song tunes, which they do and they give me little messages. And I'm like, what? I'm sleeping, people, sleeping. <laughs> um, so, uh, but I have been thinking while watching Linda Moulton Howe talking about alien abductions and simultaneously semi-comatose on my couch with my dog. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, she's not doing it. She goes. Uh. And, um, and it occurred to me, came up in the comments section actually, which reminded me, there's been a sudden dramatic shift in consciousness. People are awakening. And, um, oh, God knows. Gods only know we need humanity to awaken right now. Uh, but CERN has powered up as of the 6th of July. I'm not sure how long they stay powered up for or what they're actually doing, but it's it's... A cause of great concern to me given that our world is already inverted perverted and in decline so I was just sitting here musing thinking it's funny how in a matter of days I was shown by my by my angels my spirit people um, potentialities and um, healings and new connections that I made yesterday and uh, that I was willing to um, move out of my usual comfort zone uh, which is to just be very avoidant and uh, you know hop in my car and go home straight to my dog and instead I was invited by you know three, three men um, that attended drumming uh, one or two of whom I'd met um, before in the past. Um, you know, I was invited, you know, if I would give them a lift. You know, and uh, bearing in mind that it was bitterly cold yesterday and by this time, time of the afternoon it was like, uh, f you know, 4.30, 5pm, 5 5ish I think it was. It was quite cold. So I thought I would do, you know, a kind and decent thing. And, and I actually, you know, said to these three guys, yeah, I'll give you a lift. It's only like 10 minutes down the road where we needed to go. And um, it was it was lovely and it was spontaneous and it was human and it was sweet. And so one of the gentlemen invited us to have dinner with him, which was also sweet and spontaneous. And next thing I know, hours had gone by and I, you know, because I don't get to use all my words, because I live in my little hermitage here, I had uh, been obnoxious, monopolised the conversation, um, bantered with the with the nice um, gentleman who invited us for dinner. I mean, I just acted completely fucking out, and yet <laughs> they must be they must be really bored or a bit lonely because they found it all so endearing and enchanting, and I'm like. Oh my God, Tanya, you're so antisocial and a copec and really like just obnoxious. But anyway, we sat, we sat at Guzman, Guzman and Gomez at South Pack and uh, had dinner together. And uh, yeah, just I told my my true but true lived experiences but outrageous stories that are not really meant to be told out in open air public spheres. And, uh, and of course, because I'm in the, uh, and, uh, when I'm in the, um, the mood, 
when I'm in the, the flow of storytelling, you know, the, the expletives come out and the occasional inappropriate, you know, statement comes out and I'm like... I found myself saying, oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's police around, I have to lower my voice. And it was like bordering on paranoia, right? But, you know, I don't like, I don't like um, authority figures. Having worked with the police for 12 months back in 1999 to 2000, um, really had nasty experiences with them, so not real fond of them. But anyway, look, they're just people in uniform strutting their stuff, doing their jobs. So nothing much intimidates me. So off I went, on flagrant, carrying on with my outrageous stories. And I, look, it was just, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. But I don't know. I don't think I should be allowed out in public, quite frankly. I'm a bit of, um, I'm just a bit, as I said to the, to the, the two younger gentlemen, I'm just a bit weird. But anyway, they thought it was lovely. So... Today I'm a bit wary because um, I um, I talk too much and and I and I expended too much energy using all my words and I just got this weird thing under my lip here. It's really sore. It's like it's been brewing for a few days. I don't know what it might be. Um, it might be from caused by the um, the brio steroid that I'm having to take for my lungs. But anyway, I got this like soreness there and so I'm thinking oh dear god I'd like to just like get well and not have all these like conglomerate problems that come from the medications I have to take for my lungs because it's like basically dragging me down man it's like life's meant to be beautiful and joyful and connected and delightful so I'm working on that I'm working on that oh look hey, hey, hey. Grind down into the bowels by regard. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I know. Looking. Oh, no, I'm not making fun of you, buddy. I just like it when you tell me to sod off and dog out. <coughs> oh, calm down. He's a bit crazy because I didn't take him to drumming, so he get over the either. But He's also a bit of an antisocial menace, and when he comes to drumming with me, which I used to always pay for him, he, um, he wants to bark at every dog that goes walking past, and it's very noisy and, and disconcerting, so he didn't come yesterday, because I didn't feel well enough to like wrangle the dog as well as manage the drumming, as well as participate in the energy rising that we do with our beautiful drumming. Go to drumming. Think about me. I'm your dog. I'm your emotional sister's animal. I insist you to stay well out of all your emotions. Yes. I know. You're so pretty. You should go for a W A L K. Oh, a W A L K. Before it's R A I N S S. Because it's so C O L D. It's so cold. Mm. I know, maybe a little one. Just a quick one so you can have a little poo. Because you don't really care so much about the walkies. It's about the public display of pooping. Yes, I know. Usually right on Cavendish Road in front of all the cars. And when we is the bend down and pick up the poopy can. Yes. I know. Maximus embarrassments. My sweet cabin. Alright, so. What's your way to leave your lover? I can take that message. I can take that message. 
Or was the message the problems being all inside my head? And my struggles to be free and staying joyous in a world declining paradigm. So what are we going to do about that? Heal the world one soul at a time. Love you all. Bye.